Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. It's been a week since my last vlog. It's uh, been quite busy. I need to wake up earlier. I need to, my sleeping pattern's all over the place right now. I need to fix that. But I've been streaming every day, well, almost every day. I've been uploading daily on the main channel still, and also on the second channel as well. So I've been quite busy, but I'm waking up too late, so I'm having less and less time. But anyway, uh, yeah, on Thursday, I was, gonna I was gonna do a vlog for Friday, but I thought, you know what? I got two accessories for PS5, controller and PS camera, and I thought, I don't want to open them until the PS5 comes, so I thought I'd just leave them, and there was no point doing a vlog where I just leave them, so I didn't do a vlog. But there is a third accessory coming today, it is the charging dock for the two for two controllers, it's coming a day early, and then the PS5 should arrive on release day on the 19th, on Thursday! So that should be the next vlog, hopefully it comes. Not from Amazon this time, this time it's from Curry's, an electrical store I order from, I got my TV from there. 4K monitor, gaming PC, 4K Blu-ray player. A lot of my tech comes from there and they're very reliable. They sell everything uh, tech-wise. So the thing is, even though they've been reliable, I've never ordered a console off them, never pre-ordered a console off them specifically. So I'm hoping they're on time. They're doing it through DPD. So obviously they're not doing it directly. They're doing it through another company. So, so DPD have been reliable too, uh, from my knowledge anyway. So... Uh, I've heard that other other people in the UK have gotten it through Hermes and Yodel, and they are not so reliable. And as a, and I think that's who Amazon are using. I think so, because I, I I saw on Twitter people used Amazon. They gave their packages to her Hermes, uh, who dispatched it today. So there's a lot of memes on Twitter about Hermes and uh, Yodel throwing packages around because they're not as reliable. Personally, I don't remember getting anything from them. I mainly get things from either Amazon Prime Delivery or. DHL or DPD and they're reliable and curries as well uh, sometimes they come themselves and John Lewis you know good reliable companies I don't know about Yodo or, or Hermes so I don't know if they're good or not I have I don't think I've ever gotten anything from them I, I genuinely don't think I have anyway Google sends me this for free this costs 90 pounds usually apparently but Google have their own thing called Google Stadia. I guess they thought, you know what? There's all these consoles coming out. We need some attention for ourselves. So they sent me Stadia. So this one is not a games console, but it is a gaming platform. So you use your browser, Google Chrome, or any equivalent like Microsoft Edge, as long as it's an updated version. But the main one is Google Chrome if you want the best experience, but I'm using it on Edge. So you go on Google Chrome and you stream the games. There's no PC, Required there is a PC required, but there's no high-end PC required so you can play your games through Google Chrome All you need is a stable internet connection. So That is a cool concept and you can also play on your phone as well You can also transfer it to your phone play through the app. So there's many ways you can play it. So It's a good it's a good uh, concept in principle, but I want to test it see what it's like So let me just open this up currently watching this video ps3 comes out tomorrow i think this is a guy who uploaded an old, he, he got an old video i think and he re-uploaded it I, I don't know i've never seen this youtuber before but it put on my on my uh, on my feed i thought you know what let's click on it and he's basically it's a video of him like in 2006 a week before the ps3 no it comes a day before the ps3 comes out and he's talking about his games so he's got a psp in there he's got a ps2 um like a gamecube a 360 which came out a year before as well so uh, yeah, I just thought <laughs> I thought I'd watch it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite cool. It's quite cool seeing seeing him talking about his, his old games. So that's that's pretty sick. While I watch that, let me just open this up. This fella's about to play PS One Crash Team Racing. Sick. This is like unboxing a phone. <laughs> so this is the controller. It feels all right, you know. Hopefully, you know what? I hope this works with PC games, not just Stadia, but like Steam. That would be very useful if I could just plug this into my computer, use use it on like flight simulator or whatever. This would be very useful. So that's a wire and a plug, controller obviously, uh, adapter and whatever this is. I thought it was a headset but it's HDMI. No idea. Hopefully I don't need it to connect the controller and just play. Now he's playing GameCube. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the Nintendo Wii came out a week after the PS3. I always forget that. So I just, you know, connected it to my computer and it automatically connected. Recognized Stadia controller. Right, so here we are. A connector. You have to click on that controller sign and touch you press a button and uh, it just connects straight away. Now I can use my controller on here, which is pretty cool. So I've 
claimed, so to speak. Basically, they gave me Stadia Pro for like three months. Stadia Pro is like, it's like PS Plus, I guess, in a way. So you pay a monthly price. And it's like Game Pass, actually it's more like Game Pass. It's more like Game Pass. You pay a monthly price and you get a collection of games for free. As long as you have the, have the membership, you can keep playing those games for free. I don't think they stay on there forever, but I think they'll get replaced by new games anyway. But yeah, that, that's an option to have. If you don't have that, then I think you just buy games and play it anyway. But anyway, um, I have one issue with this, right? They're Dead by Daylight, which is pretty cool, PUBG and stuff. But my issue is the range. So they gave me a £10 voucher, which is cool. Uh, here's Pac-Man. I could get this for, for £7, but I don't know if I want to get that. I don't know if it's any good. I mean, it is Pac-Man. I've, I've played Pac-Man. It's fun. Just I don't know if it's worth buying a premium version of it. They got some new games, such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ultimate Edition, which is pretty cool. Gave me a £10 voucher, and I wanted to get a driving game. And all I found was Grid. And Grid was £30 on this. £10 off is £20. It's a good deal, right? I went on Steam and it was just £20 without any offers. So, what? not so good deal. Uh, there is F1 2020. So there's some new games and there's some older games that are pretty cool as well. But there's not enough. There's not enough. There just isn't enough. There's not enough sports games. Not enough racing games. There's some shooters, sure, and that's cool. But there's not enough shooters either. But there's, there is Cyberpunk. There is some cool games on here. Like, there, there are some cool... There is a cool collection. And Borderlands as well, that's a popular title. But it's just not enough. This isn't every game, by the way. Like, there's a long list, you can Google it if you want, you can Google the whole list of games. But even in, even after you see the whole list of games, it's still not enough. It, it just isn't enough. So, this is my opinion on it, but let me see how it, let me see how it plays, first of all. Yeah, so it feels like, it feels like a PlayStation, PlayStation controller more than an Xbox controller. But the buttons are like an Xbox controller. But the layout's like a PS controller, if that makes sense. That's what I mean. It's, it's like a PS controller in terms of like the layouts, analog stickers down here, triggers and everything. But in terms of like the buttons, it's a you can't even see it properly because it's blurry. A X Y V, you know, just like Xbox. But the layout's more PS. But it feels good in my hands. Um, the Xbox Series S controller feels better. The PS4 controller feels better as well. Haven't felt the PS5 one yet, but this one actually feels good to be fair and. For one that I can use for PC, it's not too bad. If it works on Steam, that would be elite. But yeah, look, if, if the games don't improve, I am not going to keep Stadia Pro. I'm not going to pay for it. All right, it is lagging a bit, but yeah. Okay, it, it's, it's lagging. It's lagging quite a bit. Ah. Huh. Anyone going to join? Huh. You know what? Wait, what? Why's it gone to Steam? Eh? I didn't do this. What's going on? Exit game. Alright, you know what? We're just going to play flipping. What you, you call it? Let, let, let me see. Uh, where, where's my Stadia Pro? Yeah, Stadia. No, that's not. That's not. That, that's deals. Stadia Pro games, yeah? Look, look, look over here. Sniper Elite 4, yeah? Let's, let's play Sniper Elite 4, yeah? Claim. I claimed it. Now let me play it. All right, we're playing single player village survival mode. Oh, there we go. I can't shoot, lads. Yeah. Wish I had lock on, because <laughs> I'm terrible. Alright, clearly I'm terrible, guys. Oh, it's X. It's X. I was, I was pressing R3 to knife him, like Call of Duty. It's, it's X to flip and knife him. Well enough. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, you know what? That was alright. You know, I, I need to get better at games. But I don't know what's going on here. It's keep going on Steam when I press the controller. Does that mean it's connected to Steam? 
All right, so it does feel quite good to play, but it needs more games. And if it doesn't add more games, then I'm not going to keep it. It, it needs something. It, it, it needs more sports. It, it needs more racing, as I mentioned. It needs more shoes. It needs more of everything. It needs more of everything, okay? And I, I see some new games on there, yeah, but I also want to see a Call of Duty or one or, one or two, okay? I want to see a Battlefield game. Yeah, I want to see FIFA. I, I want to see um, Need for Speed. Yeah, I want to see top games on here. If, if the best I can find is Dead Banana and PUBG, we're having a problem, lads. We're having a problem, okay? So, okay. And these are the free games, though. These are the premium games. But still, you, you get the point, all right? You get the point. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me just check if it plays on Steam, though. Okay, the click to start, I can't press anything on my controller. All right. Um, that's not a good start, but we'll see. No? No? That controller doesn't work so far. Remind me next time. Nope. It doesn't. Reddit comes in clutch, I think anyway. It's settings, settings, it's view up, views up, there's a, there's a view button up here. You can't even see it because it's blurred. View settings you get here, you go down to controller and then what do I do? Uh, general controller settings, yes, yes, and then, uh, wait, you can just, huh, that's cool. Anyway, uh, you can, uh, generic gamepad, preferences, wait, what? Right, uh, turn on generic gamepad configuration support, yeah, there we go. Connect via USB, Steam should detect it. Yeah, and then what? Select Stadia controller. Do I have to calibrate it? Wait, what? How do I... I'm very confused right now. I don't know how I did it, but it's working. It's working. It's working. I'm using my controller to navigate the menus. Yeah, it's, it's too good. Wait, hang on. I can't flip in. I'm using the wrong hand to flip in. Remind me next time. Yep. Here we go, right? Let me, let me use the right hand. Yeah. Here we actually know. Wrong hand. <laughs> there we go. Easy as you like. Nice. I'm guessing if I press B. It exits, yes. Okay. I don't know how I did it. I pressed some random buttons and eventually it worked. So, there we go. At least I can do this. At least I can have a controller for my PC now. So that's one benefit. I'm just not that impressed with Stadia itself. But the controller, fair play. Alas, we have the McDonald's Christmas menu. Came out in the UK today on Wednesday, the first day. They introduced many things like a jerk chicken burger, um, cheese melt dippers, which I've got right here. Celebrations McFlurry, the machine was bro was not broken and they actually got it, it's almost melting at least you have this first actually, and a double Big Mac, I think there's something else as well, I can't remember what it was, but double Big Mac as well, so I thought I'd try that, it's probably going to uh, be very filling, and uh, it's probably going to look very ugly compared to the actual picture, but still, you know, that's what McDonald's is, but the packaging looks nice, the packaging looks very festive, which is what I like. Oh wow, looks fantastic mate. Fantastic uh, presentation. I might keep this as a souvenir. Nice packaging. So, um, a few months ago, McDonald's released a limited edition double big, no, sorry, a grand Big Mac. They called it a grand Big Mac. So it was a Big Mac, just a bit bigger. That one felt like it had more meat in it than this one. And this was a double Big Mac. There was more burgers than this. But the grand one felt more filling than this one. Just saying. Not buying another one. Now we've got some cheese melt dippers and they have a special sauce for it. Tangy tomato dip. Okay. I'm not a fan. I don't know. Not even the sauce. I'm not a fan of any, any of that. Not even going to finish it. No. Well, at least the McFlurry was nice. So it dispatched. It was meant to arrive today and it's saying running late. So why not just say that in the first place? Why have you had me waiting for your delivery? Come on, come on Amazon lads, well come on. 
hopefully courage is better with my ps5 anyway since that's not coming in that's my vlog for today this is your boy davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and see ya